Bog Wrestling back with another award, and this time it's the Feud of the Year. We've got four bad boys here for you, and we have got a great wee selection. Free WWE, one AEW, and the Impact, because that's what impact they have these days on the wrestling business. None whatsoever. But we've got Rollins, and the rated R <laughs> Alright, fucking Tony Chimel cam it down. Before we get on to this, uh, before we get on to the nominees, I just want to point out, I actually didn't realise at the time, I think it's a travesty that Reigns Cena feud didn't make this shortlist. Why? Because I think it was fucking deserving a top four spot. It lasted like two weeks and Cena oh, just came out. And... I think it was better than Reigns Brock. No. No, right, fair enough. Anyway, speaking of the nominees, we've got Edge versus Rollins. We've got, um, which kind of started on SmackDown, ended up on Raw, had a bunch of matches. They fought in SummerSlam, they fought at Crown Jewel, fought everywhere. Madison Square Garden. It brought back the theme song uh, from The Brood, which is pretty good. We didn't get exactly get a bloodbath, but we did get a bunch of black goo, which was better than nothing, I guess. I mean, it was good matches. It was Edge, and it was probably some of Seth Rollins' best working years. So, I mean, you can't really complain, you know what I mean? It, it, did, it, did, it did its job. It did its job. Uh, Drew versus Lashley. To me, Lashley was one of the only shining lights on a very dark, dull, and depressing year. For Monday Night Raw. Um, glad he took the belt off Drew McIntyre. Uh, the Miz was sort of involved in this feud as well. Uh, it, it was good, you know. It wasn't, wasn't great. But it felt like it probably had to include something there also. Fuck it. Yeah, we also had the whole gimmick of, oh, the, he's got till the hour to answer. Oh, no, I know that was all Miz, but McIntyre was involved. Uh, and then McIntyre pointing. started coming out with his sword and we just kind of wanted to switch off the TV. I want to get a sword to my wrist. Um, then we've got, up next, we've got Reigns and Brock. Reigns returning, uh, Brock returning. Paul Heyman's with Reigns. You know, will Reigns keep Paul Heyman or will Paul Heyman jump back to uh, Brock Lesnar? Is he an advocate or is he a tribal counsellor? Uh, turns out he's neither because Brock doesn't want him and Reigns has sat fired him, but... Uh, the Reigns Brock feud was all right, but again, uh, it's, I think it's hard for a Brock feud to be that great when the guy's barely there. You know, he'll turn up every like four weeks if you're lucky. It's it's not whip out a flip phone. It's not like ideal. It's toys and free. We all uh, wish it was Brock. And to be fair, I mean Reigns and Lesnar haven't really been confronting each other much. They've not really been in this, shared the same ring. A lot of the Brock stuff's actually been done by Sami Zayn. So I mean, it's been a decent feud, but I don't think it's been great. It's definitely better than the, the tug of war shape over the belt. Suffering five, like year, five years ago, but uh, aye. No, it's actually seven years ago. Seven mate. years ago, mad, crazy. Five years ago. Time flies when you're not having fun. Nope, and that is definitely an exhibit A of that. But of course, guys, the few. Well, I'll tell you what, the few to end it with a fucking positive COVID test. COVID, you son of a bitch. So thankfully, that went into the next year. Right there you, you go. Know, so there's that. But we're gonna have to dive in here, aren't we? No, because we need to talk about the last nominee. Yeah, oh, aye, well, aye, AEW makes an appearance on a on an award show. God damn it! It's not going to have... win. No, nope. taking part counts. Yep, it's all about the wooden spoon of your AEW. It's all about the diversity. Only problem is the two guys involved in this feud. None of them are black. It's Chris Jericho and MGF. Just I'll carry way, this video like I always do. Just the way that, Tony Khan likes it. And with that said, let's get in. And here are the results. And coming in in fourth place, the wooden spoon we have Chris Jericho, Fat Man Jericho taking on Ms. Jacob Freeman. And it comes in with 8% of the folk. 12 folks there was, so 8% of 12 is like 1. That uh, is. Good math there. According to uh, CM Punk, my jealous fan. That was such a shit comeback. Tell you what, there'll be no CM Punk feuds on this. <laughs> this there'll, uh... there'll be nothing to do with CM <laughs> yeah. Punk on this. Well, well actually, unfortunately, there is. But yeah, we'll talk about that when we get to that video. Exactly. Coming in though, at third place on the on the final podium position, bro. We have Lashley, my entire feud. I feel like there should be a, a, a Miz in brackets or something. He kind, of did, he kind of did help carry this, but uh, anyway, Lashley McIntyre comes in in second place, uh, third place. Speaking of second place, it is the Beast Brock Lesnar, the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, with 33% of the vote. Down and um, down and down. Only good enough for second place, to be fair. I I feel like what held us back was just the, the, the only, they only had one match, and the lack of interaction, which is something the, uh, the winning poll here, didn't like because they had three matches, did lots of interactions, good back and forth feuds. We People had, in the house. We had the, the brood uh, entrance, we had the the blood bath or the, the black bath. We had Seth Rollins. So why is black alright but blood's not? I don't know. Why couldn't it be dark me? red? 
Uh, we had Seth Rollins going to Edge's house. We had a bunch of good matches. The Hell in a Cell match. It was all good. It was all good in the hood. And it was probably the deserving feud of the year, year. in my opinion. Because every match was good. And it won with 42% of the vote. You know what? I have no complaints. I would have probably picked this, to be honest. So I would have picked this too. It's, 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 so we're actually in agreement here. Yeah, we're in agreement. It is what it is, guys. We agree. We agree. Yous agree. Everybody agrees. Edge versus We're all in this together. Apart from the people that um, want black champions, they probably disagree because there's no, there's no black people. Nope. But they don't um, like Lashley either because he's not a vanilla midget. Yeah, but uh, you know, apparently Rollins is Puerto Rican or something, so it's a wee bit of... Is he not Cuban? Ah, oh, some shit. Well, he didn't swim over the border like fucking... Luis Ortiz, uh -huh. did he? Luis Ortiz knocked out Charles Martin. If you want to refuel in that boxing match, then you're going to have to wait because it's no coming. Till next time, though. Peace.